So today's video is all about getting your priorities right. Let's explore that word priority. So at the moment, circuit number two is energized and working, but look what happens when I turn on circuit number one. Circuit number one takes the priority. So we're gonna be looking at a board from Garrow, often called a shower board or a priority board. So why would you wanna use one of these? Well, let's explore that term for the showers first. Imagine you have a domestic installation with just a 60 amp cutout fuse, and in the main bathroom, you have a nine kilowatt shower. You wanna introduce another shower into an ensuite, so again, at nine kilowatts. You're putting the actual installation under a lot of stress on its maximum demand. To overcome that by installing this board, it allows one 40 amp circuit actually to feed both showers with one of them taking the priority. In this case, the shower in my ensuite takes the priority over the one for my children in the family bathroom. So while I'm in there, I can use my shower happily with the main bathroom shower not energized. When I come out, turn off the shower, you can now see that the family bathroom shower is able to be used at this stage. Let's have a look at what's happening under the cover here. Let's have a look at what we've got here then. So we've got a 40 amp type B RCBO rated at 30 milliamps and it's a type A RCD. And when it operates, it disconnects both live conductors, so line and neutral. We've got a six amp control circuit here. We've got a current sensing relay and a contactor. Let's take the cover off and have a look at the connections next. So let's have a look at the least familiar bit in the actual consumer unit to us electricians, this current sensing relay here. So it comes through our control circuit, six amp circuit breaker, loops round and comes into the top, comes through the actual relay out the bottom and comes into our contactor here. So when this is energized, we'd have a supply on here and a neutral here and it would close this contact. When this circuit is energized at about one and a half kilowatts or more, or about between five and six amps, this makes this the priority circuit. So in other words, this can, will not close the contactor here on circuit number two. So you could have a situation where you had one kilowatt load on here and one kilowatt load on here, and they would both work. However, we know with our scenario with two nine kilowatt showers, as soon as this circuit is energized, the auxiliary circuit within here de-energizes the feed to the contact and open circuits here. So we make this circuit here, which comes out at the top here, our priority circuit. So that feeds our shower in our ensuite. And this circuit here coming out of the actual contactor itself is feeding our main bathroom shower, so the non-priority circuit. Our incoming supply comes into the bottom of the RCBO, so we've got our line and neutral coming into the bottom. Obviously our neutral connection coming out, our circuit neutrals and our circuit CPCs here. So you can already see the problem, you're all soaked up and you're in the main bathroom and somebody nips into the ensuite, it's gonna turn yours off. So Garrow have thought about this, they make a non-priority board, a two and three way. So if you're the early bird and you're up first in the morning and you get into the shower, you'll be able to complete your shower under those circumstances. They also make one with a timed facility on it, so you can limit the amount of time that that shower is on for. If you've got teenage kids, you know what I'm talking about from that point. The Garrow boards themselves, all parts are manufactured in the EU and assembled in Ireland and come with a five year warranty. Let's look at some other applications. So where else can you use this Garrow board? Well, with the growth of EV, this is perfect. So you've got a seven, eight, nine kilowatt shower in your electrical installation and you install an EV charging point. All of a sudden now you're worried about maximum demand again, especially if your cutout fuse is only 60 amps. So what we can do is we'll make the shower in the installation the priority circuit and the non-priority circuit the EV charging point. So you come home, you plug your car in and you start charging it. However, when you get into the house, you go upstairs, you turn on your shower, it becomes the priority circuit. It turns off the EV charging point for the time that you're in the shower. And then obviously when you're finished in the shower and you turn it off, it then puts the supply back into your EV charging so you can start that process again. So regulation 722.311.201 requires us to consider either reduction or disconnection when we're looking at maximum demand of our EV charging point. So if it isn't already built into the EV charging point itself, this Garrow board will do that for you with the aspect of the disconnection. So another scenario, you have a cable feed in the consumer unit within a garage that feeds things such as socket outlets for a tumble dryer and lighting, etc. And that's the closest point that you can actually wire a new EV charging point from. However, that circuit is only fused at 40 amps and therefore wouldn't be allowed to become off that consumer unit. However, if you install one of these Garrow units and make the priority circuit the consumer unit within the garage and the non-priority circuit the EV charging point, again, it will get you out of that jam. You'll be able to wire from that point to the new EV charging point. 
So we can see as we increase our electrical demand within our installation, say with a second shower, EV charging point, electric heating, that this Garrow board here is gonna help manage our maximum demand. That's really crucial when we've only got, say, a 60 amp cut out fuse. If you've got any other ways in which you believe this Garrow board can be used, please comment below, and we'll be interested to see what your thoughts are.